back today we're gonna learn a uh, cartwheel air flare now this is a combo and it's not a real air flare just a heads up for if you think I'm gonna learn the air flare now uh, it's sort of a mix between the two moves uh, but this might help you get and understand the air flare so if you cannot air flare you can still do this uh, of course it's way easier if you can do the air flare and very obviously you need the cartwheel right if you cannot do that well why are you watching this so uh, to do this move the first thing we need to do is actually do half the cartwheel to the handstand so it looks like this do the cartwheel and stop right there now when i do that because i throw my after from, from my right hand to my left hand i make sure my le uh, right hand touches uh, last so if you need you can switch your cartwheel the other way around if you cannot do that you can learn it very fast uh, because it's very easy so half a cartwheel stop right uh, so once you have this down and you understand this, well if you can already do the air flare, think of it like that. You're going to do a slow cartwheel and in the hands and throw an air flare. If you cannot do air flare, we can actually still do this move. All we need is this little trick, which is a hand up on the right arm to a hand up on the left arm. So without rotation, it will look like this. This, that, see? Again, freeze, freeze. And that's, that's the move. And when you do that, try to pump from the right hand, then from the left hand. And when you do this in the little cartwheel move we just did, we rotate in, but because we do a cartwheel, we we'll automatically fly uh, basically to the right position to switch the hand, so you get an air flare. Uh, normally, when people add air flare with rotation, it's quite hard to, to grasp where to throw exactly and where to switch the hands, blah, blah, blah. And in this case, like I said, it's not even the real air flare in a way. It's just a tuck freeze to a tuck freeze in between cartwheel. So, but then when you do the cartwheel, you actually automatically fly this way. We can use this because as soon as you feel your body rotate over the arm, you simply do that little switch. And for me, this isn't like a power move. For me, this feels more like actually a, a sort of weird flip that you can do in between your moves. So, uh, let me show you guys that little thing. When I enter the cartwheel and I land sort of in the handstand, right? Uh, if you have a lot of stop, trouble, you can sort of try to stop there. But I simply tuck the legs in like a handle. And then uh, what you do is watch your crotch area. So it doesn't matter, female, male, you watch the crotch area. When you switch, also watch the crotch area. So your hands actually go behind your body a little bit. And that's the move. So when I do it slow, you see that I actually stick my head out a little bit, right? So from here, tuck. That's in slow mo, of course. In, in, in the motion, it looks a lot better. So, when you do it all together, uh, from here, hook to your hand. Now, what I like to do is because I see it more like a flip than a real air flare, I like to actually, from there, especially if you can land on two hands if you want, you can land on one hand, it's all the same pretty much. I like to just jump to my feet and continue like that. So, it's a nice little trick. Uh, if you can already air flare or you air flare way lower than that. Uh, it's pretty much all the same, but once you enter, you make sure you, you're you not all the way in handstand unless you can go to uh, handstand to air flare very easy. And you make sure you rotate in more because lower air flare need more rotation, I guess. And you know, do it on one hand, but that's like to me, like I said, it's not really an air flare. So if you have this move down, it can maybe even help you a little bit uh, understand and get the air flare. So actually that's the whole move guys, it's just a little handle in between your cartwheel and people really don't see this coming, especially if you do some flips, right, maybe two, three cartwheels and then you do this one and do uh, a, a backflip after or something like that, right. I always did uh, this combo to uh, Apple Jacks, something like that, so you make a little combos with it, that's a cool little trick. So yet again, entering with the slow cartwheel, you, my fingers are to the front when I enter it, so I actually block that I go forward. So if you have a lot of trouble with this, try to practice the cartwheel. Stop, right? As you are there, you tuck your legs in, look at your crotch area, and switch the hand. By using the momentum forward, you will automatically land in the right position. And that's all there is. It's actually quite an easy trick. So from here, right, little jump there. Very simple, guys. Uh, I like this little trick as, like I said, I use it more like a flip, right, to enter. People don't expect this one. And you jump and then you can maybe continue. 
But since you land in one and freeze like that, it makes sense. You can also just continue your power move. So it's a little bit up to you how to use this, of course. So uh, if you like this combo, uh, yeah, use it. See you next time.